who I believe it is. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Oh, man, it's good to see you. <laughs> Always a pleasure. I, TMZ. TMZ, try, you yeah. know. I tried, I, last time I saw you, you were with your son. You were taking a, a, his whole class out here. Oh, and I know you don't live here in L.A. That was really cool, man. Yeah, the whole sixth grade class, we had like 17 <laughs> of them. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it was the craziest thing you'd ever seen. Yeah. I, Chaperoning, 17. Cha I know. Like, what are they, like 12, 13? Yeah, 12 and 13. Oh, my God. That's got to be, that's got to be rough, right? Well, you guys made their day because y'all actually were shooting and yeah. came up and yeah, yeah, the kids you, were man. going crazy. <laughs> they loved it. It was pretty wild. Man. <laughs> I, I want to know why when I was in school, I didn't have any like teachers or, or, or students' parents that were cool like that. It's messed up. <laughs> you know... He did go to a black school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went to Monterey High. I was one of three black kids. Serious. Monterey High. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. They didn't like you growing up in Monterey? Yeah, yeah, I'm from that Monterey. That had to be man. unbelievable. <laughs> I think it was me and two other black kids. What are you doing here? I mean, I would be, I thought you'd be surfing. Right, exactly. He, well, he's black. Yeah, I don't they surf. They don't swim. Uh, yeah, I'm saying, I don't swim or surf. But it's just, hey, you know, I had to move out here to work. Don't let him man. pull that stereotype I know, on you. Right, it's true. It's ridiculous. I know, but it is true, though. <laughs> He doesn't swim. He should be ashamed of <laughs> But he's very good at drowning. He could do it perfect once. Right. Exactly. Should I flip this around you guys? Right. Do so, no, no, we, should do, we have like a little stick that we do together. No. Um, I was just uh, uh, posting on TMZ. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what were you posting? <laughs> you don't want to know. You're like, oh, I don't want to know. You drowned him. <laughs> he actually found out your girlfriend's cheating. Right. Oh, you know, I know every time I see you, I always joke about cheating stuff because obviously it's easy to go to with cheating. Now, and she is so cute. What would you even think? Of? Why did you do that? <laughs> exactly. She's right. so fine. He's cheating with me. Out on her. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Did you introduce him to that it's other because... girl? <laughs> yes. It's because I am it's, a it's... terrible person. No, no, no. I just want you to be honest one yeah. time for yeah. me yes. and tell me when you were when you were cheating. How did it feel? Do, do you are you you know you feel bad about what you did? I was not cheating. That's all a joke. No, it's just you and me. You can tell me now. Right. Yes, definitely. Of course. Gomez, bring the I call it. No, he wasn't cheating. He's excessively staying with another girl naked. Wow. Right. 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 This is okay. Your best Hold friend, on. I, I got know. questions here. This is we're going off the left left field here. Okay. No. Okay, seriously. What's going on? For, for my friends out there who have unfaithful Wait, girls, I've got quote, a quote, quote, let's do the quote, friends. <laughs> For my friends out here who have unfaithful girls, like, what are, like, three signs to make them tell if your spouse is cheating on you? That's what I really do want to know. You know what? Um, and I hate to say it, and, yeah. and everybody does, says, oh, if you see them starting to work out and start to think about how they're looking, uh -huh. tell, tell something. Uh, you know, you make that big change. And, and the thing is in relationships, yeah. and sometimes we all do it, we get a little lazy. Okay. And so we start thinking, okay, and and uh, and we get comfortable. Yeah. Well, the, the fact is, we weren't comfortable for the years before we met that person. So why, right. you know, you can be comfortable, but still take care of yourself. It's very, very important. True. So that's a telltale sign. Okay. And you want to be careful. And for you guys out there that are thinking about it, you know, you may not step out, but she right. wants you to feel good. Right. She wants to feel, you want her to feel good about who she's with. So get in shape. And girls too. Yeah. You know, believe me, 60% of the girls, people we busted on cheaters were women. Right. Of course, yeah. it was a guy doing right. the show, so right. I kind of skewed it that way. <laughs> but the fact is, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, so if they start changing their okay. appearance, you know something's right. happening. You know, the other thing is. What's the other thing? This little thing. Oh. It's dangerous and we forget it about it. But all of a sudden, if this thing starts getting hidden, oh. and you don't see it on the nightstand anymore. Because at nights, I used to sleep with this on the nightstand. Right. And they're a little worried because there may be a text coming in at 2 a.m. when they're doing a, oh. a drunk booty call and right. you don't want that girl that you're messing around with going, I'm going to get him. You know what I mean? And she's uh, a little mad. Right. And, you know, all of a sudden she knows. She knows. So the one next to them. So they're going to hide their phone. Okay. And that, that's a big one. Well, working out, all of a sudden getting looks and the phone starting to be in the phone okay. is serious. That you know, that's probably the biggest one, right? That's number one. That, that's the big one. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, well we're gonna see. I might it's, be a, it's a true story, it's a true tell. And then make sure they don't have that Snapchat or those ones with the disappearing texts. Oh 
you know, Cuban, he, right. he's like all over this app. He and his right. kids, he's got, what is it, the uh, smoke away or what is it, right. Cuban's deal. Anyway, yeah. his, you know, I'm going, so you create, you know, you funded this thing, this right. is your app, you're out there promoting it, but truly, why do you need a text to disappear? There's right. no real reason. That's true. Don't uh, shoot it, don't text it, if you don't, you know, if you can. Well, he created it for spies. Oh, for, it was just for spies. It's yeah, not meant for right. the general it's, public. It's, no one cheating would ever use an no, app no, that no. has their text messages yeah. disappear. Text messages, yeah. That's crazy. Okay, now you're back in town with your son. Is this like another yeah, father and son thing you're doing? Yeah, it is. So it's kind of fun, but it's just him and I. You know, my uh, my wife took my other son and they went on a camping trip. Oh, wow. Like, you know, they're out there roughing it in a tent. Nice. And I said, son, you got a better deal. We're going to the guitar festival in <laughs> yeah. Malibu. We're going to hang out in suns and bikinis. And <laughs> you know, it was well, a well, great time. Girls in bikinis, you're not going to hang out yourself no, in bikinis. Sun. Oh, 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 hang the out with the sun in bikinis. I thought side. you meant with your son in a bikini. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> now, how old is your son? He's 12. So he's at that age now where girls are probably starting to like it when he's starting to notice girls, right? He's kind of digging it. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? I mean, he's got like a famous father, too, so I think he's got like the extra going on. Now, are you going to be a strict parent or are you going to let him date or how? No, get listen, tattoos. I'm just, let me tell you something. Yeah, get tattoos. <laughs> I'm just happy I have boys. Right. Okay. Because if I had a girl, it would be a real problem. But listen, we, you know, I, I am pretty strict. He's right. a good kid. He's a straight-A okay. student. Okay. You know, an athlete. He plays music. He okay. loves it. Got it. And in fact, I think, you know, with being at the guitar festival. Yeah, inspired him. Inspiring him to uh, go back to playing uh, the guitar now. And, okay. okay. You know, he was watching all his records. He, he had out with Eddie Money. Oh, nice. You oh, know, he... Now, does he know who Eddie Money is? Of course not. <laughs> okay, good. But, you know, the good thing is, with these, he just pulls up Eddie Money. Yeah. Hey, this guy's pretty cool. It's like 40 yeah. years ago, Dad. Yeah. I went, seriously, son? Yeah, and, yeah. You know, okay, Ryan so Cabrera, he, him and Ryan were hanging out, you know, high-fiving, you know, it was like... Okay, Ryan's, Ryan's younger. Is he of the age that he knew who Ryan Cabrera was? Or is Ryan Cabrera too old for him? A little old. But he knows him, and he looked at his music. He's been kind of following him because we we're working on this new TV show, we're okay. doing a new music show together. So, you know that that's the problem. Dad, most of Dad's friends are a little bit older. I don't right. have the hey, Disney. Well, friends. you're not hanging out oh. with Disney stars, right? I mean, yeah, he, he, you're not really Jared. Liked, though, uh, Cody Simpson. Oh yeah, him and I, Cody were I've skateboarding at uh, at the uh, okay. guitar festival. Now he knows Cody. Yeah, right. Cody's so, cool. Cody's cool. We like Cody. He was he he related with that. Okay, all right. Well, listen, man, I'm not gonna keep you forever. Yeah. It's always always fun to see you, man. You're such a good dude. Well, I appreciate. it. He's <laughs> just buttering me up so I don't film him. Oh, right. right. Exactly. Oh, okay. Someone just like ran into the pole. Literally ran right. into Someone's a freaking <laughs> pole. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was priceless. That was really. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my dad had what is it about Hollywood, too? I was going, the sun keeps going, what does that smell? And I'm going, yeah, that's what that guy was just doing. Never do drugs because you run into poles. Exactly. Everywhere you go here, they're like burning the herb. They are. They are going to wacky tobacco. I smell it right now. Yeah. I call it the devil's lettuce. I'm getting a contact. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Hey, man. Thanks a lot. Right. I love you. Great. Have a good one. Thanks. All right, man.